Welcome back, everybody. This weekend, we will be honoring the life and legacy of Prince Jonah Cahill. For the first time, the Prince Cahill Parade will be broadcasted live right here on KHON. And the host of this weekend's parade joins me live. Everybody, come Maka Pili is back on Living It Away. How are you doing? I'm, I'm loving this repetition on the show, I was, finally. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> at this point, should we just add, you know, another... Third chair. A chair, a third. Yes, please. Yeah, and, and maybe, maybe another paycheck, too. <laughs> um, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Super exciting. You know, everybody at KHON and Living 808, we've been running around getting ready for this big parade that's happening this weekend. Um, but for those who don't really know too much about Prince Cohill, could you give them a history lesson? Who is Prince Cohill? Well, I think we all benefit from Prince Cohill, even though we may not be aware of that. Um, yeah. Prince Cohill was, he was, to some people, the last prince of Hawaii. And he, in, in my perspective, He's kind of like a man ahead of his time. I mean, he was next in line for the throne to be yeah. king. Um, he then, after the illegal overthrow of the monarchy and his auntie, who was Queen Liliuokalani, he fought um, in the battle to try to reinstate her, failed wow. that, become, uh, became imprisoned for a year following that. But then after that, he went to travel around the world and he put himself, from what I've understood and what I read, in somewhat like a quote-unquote self-exile to kind of get away. But then when he returned, he actually then ran for Congress under the Republican ticket, became the second delegate um, to the U.S. Congress for the territory of Hawaii. And then he filled that role for a consecutive 20 years or so. And throughout that time, in my mind, he understood it kind of was a game. Yeah. Uh, he, he felt the biggest struggle or the biggest need for his Hawaiian people was to put them back on their soil and their land. So he found a way to achieve that through this role as congressman. Yeah. So that was, I mean, just I think the biggest um, legacy that he has left behind that we're aware of is the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. That's because of him. But right. he has a lot more um, establishments and, and successes. Um, you time. mentioned earlier, you said he's a man, um, you know, before his time, or, you know, like, like, the, like someone who thinks forward, and I couldn't agree more, because learning a lot about him, I'm like, well, we still benefit a lot from his, you know, his work today. So that's For really sure. exciting. So let's talk about this parade. You know, this is happening on Saturday, you guys. What is, uh, you know, the Prince Cohill Parade, and why are we honoring a parade specific, specifically for him? Well, you know, that this is one of the few legacy parades that we, at least as the state, acknowledge and celebrate mm -hmm. every year. You know, we have King Kamehameha Day and that parade, um, of course, Aloha Festivals, and I think what we're more, what we see annually, but this is, of course, one of those two. So Prince Kohio Parade always falls, or at least Prince Kohio Day, the holiday, falls on March 26th, which is his birthday. Yeah. Um, this year, the parade is the day prior, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, but it's one of those that it, it brings the community together. And this year, it's been moved to Kapolei for the first time. Usually, it's in Waikiki. But in Kapolei, that's where the, the largest concentration of Native Hawaiians and the largest, or the home base for the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. So it's very appropriate. I was say, yeah. And in the evening time, so we don't have to wake up so gosh darn early. Oh, to see yeah. It. Well, you know, <laughs> shout out to my West Side family because we don't got to drive to Waikiki this, <laughs> this time of the year. Um, but this is super exciting, you guys. And we mentioned that this is going to be the, t the first time that's going to be broadcasted right here on KHON. Um, if anybody wanted to learn more information, where can they go? Well, you can tune in to our live broadcast mm -hmm. with, I'm so stoked to be co hosting <laughs> with the one and only Paula Akana. Um, but of course, we will be having information on our website. And this is put on by the Association from Hawaiian Civic Clubs, and a, a really big supporter is also the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Uh, so either of those websites, or of course, we'll be doing some stories as we lead up into this weekend's event. That's right, you guys. And there's so many things that's happening this weekend. Um, like you just saw on your screen, it's starting from the hale, and it's going to end at Kamakanali'i, which, by the way, tune into Living Away tomorrow because I got some details on some after parties that you guys can attend um, in honor of Prince Can I get, right? like, the first hookups before you tell everybody else? <laughs> well, I can tell you, I can tell you, one of them is going to be at Hawaii's Finest, so if you also have Noted. money, I'm a size medium. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Kamaka, for being here. I can't Mahalo. wait to see you on Saturday. Thank you.